Hi everyone, I'm Yuta Akiyama. Recently, I often see videos with the hashtag of AI art on SNS such as TikTok. In this video, I will introduce how to create such videos using the stable diffusion deforum function. In addition, I will also introduce techniques to reduce the production time on the production of videos, so I hope you will watch it until the end. Then I will introduce the procedure immediately. First of all, I will download the deforum extension function that I will use this time. In this video, I will explain how to build an environment with stable diffusion. If you haven't built an environment yet, please check it from the link in the summary column. Then, please go to the top screen of Stable Diffusion and click the Extension tab. Click Available and click Load From. Search for Deforum from the list of extension functions and install the Deforum extension function. Click the Install button. Installation is complete. After the installation is complete, click the play button again. Restarting is complete. If the Deforum tab appears on the top screen of Stable Diffusion, the installation is complete. Next, I will install the control net and roller that I will use this time. The control net I will use this time uses a tile, which is a function that keeps the structure of the image and makes it a high quality, high resolution image. If the download is not complete, please download the tile from Hugging Face. Click the download button. Once this download is complete, click the control net from the extensions folder of Stable Diffusion Web UI and upload it to models. In this case, it is already uploaded. Next is the download of the roller, but this time I will download the PyTorch roller weights. By using this, you can generate images in a small number of steps, so you can make the image quickly. If you don't have enough PC specs and it takes a long time to generate images, I recommend you to install it. This is also very easy because you just need to add a roller to prompt. Install this from Hugging Face and add it to the roller folder. Click the download button. This time from the Models folder of Stable Diffusion Web UI, find the roller and upload it here. One thing to note here, please change the model to be downloaded depending on the version of Stable Diffusion. This time I will use version 1.5 of Stable Diffusion, so select this model and click Files and Version. I'm downloading it from here. So, the environment construction for creating this video is complete. Let's move on to the next step. Before running the forum, let's verify what kind of video style will come out with image to image. The model I'm using this time is using DreamShaper. First of all, let's check the video material that will be converted with the forum this time. Yes, it looks like this. First of all, I will do it from image to image, so please screenshot this video once. Okay. Then, I will upload the screenshot image I took earlier. Here it is. Next, I will copy and paste this positive prompt. I will also copy and paste the negative prompt. This is also in the summary section, so please refer to it. One point to note here. If you don't have the roller you installed earlier, it won't work as intended, so please check if the roller is downloaded normally again. You can check this PyTorch roller ways by clicking the tab called Roller. Next, go down and change the sampling steps here. This time I will change it to 8 instead of 20. This number of steps is the number of times to remove the noise but this is a very influential value for the time it takes to generate a video. Normally, if you use around 20 to 30, you will get a stable image, but this time I have set the PyTorch roller ways, so I will set it to 8. 
Next, I want to match the size of this resize with the original image, so I will click the triangle up and down button here. Next is the CFG scale, but please change it to 7 to 2. Next, change the denoising strength to 1 and click the Kotronet tab. From here, first click Enable to make tiles active. This time I will change the preprocessor to none and change the models to dials. Now that the settings are complete, click generate. Yes, a nice 3D like image has been created. I want to make a test video like this, so I will enter the same settings in the deforum. Next, please move to the deforum tab. I would like to compare this image to the image. The sampling steps used this time are 2 minus crows, so please change this sampler to DPM 2 minus crows. Next is the step suiting. As for the width, if you look at this image to image, it's 8, so I'm going to change this to 8 as well. Let's set the width to 660 and 1200. It's like this. Next is the keyframes. For this keyframe, click on the video input. I'm going to change the strength to zero. This is okay. I'm going to change the CFC to two as well. The seed value is fixed. You don't have to change anything else. Next is the prompt. This is the prompt I used this time. So I'm going to copy and paste this. Don't forget the double quotes. Next is the negative prompt. I'm going to copy and paste this as well. It's done here. Next, I'm going to change the unit. Click on video unit. There is a place called video unit path, so I'm going to upload the video material to Google Drive. You can upload it anywhere, so I will upload it directly to my drive. Copy and paste this path. Next, click on Override Extracted Frames. Next, I'm going to change the control net. Please check the Enable button here as well. I'm going to change the preprocessor to None and the model to Tile. Next is the output. I'd like you to change the FPS value here. This time, I'm going to change the FPS based on this video. Since the number of frames is written as 30 here, select the value of 30 and paste it. Now that the settings are complete, let's download the deforum settings we have entered so far before generating the video. I'm going to copy and paste this my drive path first and download it under the file name deforumsettings.txt. Click on Save Settings. Click Save Settings to output the deforum settings to the path you just selected. Next time, when you generate a video in the same setting, enter the path of the output file. Click on this path and paste. If you click on Load All Settings, you can generate a video in the same setting. Now I'm going to generate a video in the machine again. Click Generate in this setting. Now that the video has been generated, the video has been processed. To check the video, click on the image to images in the outputs in the web UI. If you go down here, you'll see a file called Deforum, so click on it. As you can see, there are a lot of image files lined up like this. If you go down here, you'll see a video file, so download it. Let's check it out.
I think I can make good AI art. How was today's video? If you used a forum, you can make AI art that you often see on social media. If you're interested in creating AI videos, why don't you give it a try? If you find this video useful, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments. See you in the next video. Goodbye.